Hogar Santa Teresita was founded in 1999 in Arecibo, Puerto Rico. It responds to high incidence in child abuse here in this area. When the children come to service, we receive with this thought, if nobody loves you, our joy is to love you. They come with nothing here. They have scars in their hearts. They have uh, dreams in the, in the night that they scare, they cry. And we are their uh, support for them. And we start to offer all the services that dignify their persons. We offer nutrition, uh, education, medical pediatrics, psychology, a social worker, recreation, and spiritual life. To see the smile in the face of the of the children, that's for me the best. I think we all need to become more educated in terms of Puerto Rico itself. We have approximately 60 percent of children under the age of 16 who live in, under the poverty level. Within the past eight years, the government has closed more than 200 public schools. We have lost benefits from government programs. That is difficult for us because I don't want that the services, children's services affected. And we are working hard, very hard. It is a very difficult situation. Right now we have a girl that she does not exist in the because she don't have the birth certificate and I am very worried about it because I my question is what is going on because maybe she can be human traffic. So I'm start working with the senators and people from government to see if they can change the things to, to uh, lim limit the expulsion them to the human traffic. Aguíame. Déjeme. Amén. Amén. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amén. They love go to church. It is the day that they are very close to God, and it, it is a special moment for them. I believe that uh, faith in them make a change, a transformation for good, to know what is love, and they want to give love to other people, to, other, to their family. We teach them about forgiveness, and that is important because they are very hurt, and they can live their life with these uh, feelings. I started like a volunteer in 1999, and uh, I, I like to serve. I like to be with all the children, uh, making transformation in them. They ask me if I want to be a director to work, but, but for me, it's not work, it's more than a work. It's a mission that I have to continue. Nuestra congregación se trabaja bastante. Delegar en el seglar, en quien también la iglesia ha descubierto mucho carisma, muchas habilidades, delegar en el seglar y la religiosa que sea la persona que está ahí para ayudar, para estimular, para orientar también al personal y a los niños. Y en ese sentido, yo me he sentido profundamente feliz y muy libre también. Sí. Hermana Hilma is my my confidence and they she helped me in my faith and she 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 support me. The first persons who come who start here was the sister. So I just continue the work. He querido nominar a Amelva porque sin duda no hay mejor manera de evangelizar que ser reflejo del amor y de la misericordia de Dios. No hay un mayor servicio que cuidar de los menos afortunados y demostrarles que Dios les ama y que Dios cuida de ellos. Y eso es lo que Melba hace con nuestros niños.
as a Catholic people to, to understand that well, there are bonds that unite us and that should strengthen our sense of solidarity and charity and diversity, that spirit of mutual respect. I believe in them. I believe in these uh, children. I believe that Puerto Rico has uh, opportunities if we extend the hands to them because they are the future of our island. And I grow in faith here. When we are in peace, I can feel the God here. Catholic Extension awarded Melva Arbello with its highest honor, the Lumen Christi Award, in recognition of her leadership and her compassion.